Welcome to Job Tips, the career development channel. In this video, how to answer the interview question, where do you see yourself in 10 years? That's coming up. When the question, where do you see yourself in 10 years comes up in an interview, and it does come up, respond in such a way that gives the interviewer a sense that you're going to be working very diligently to be the best you can be in your current roles and subsequent roles that they might assign you or to which you might be promoted, and that 10 years is quite a long ways away. And the answer also kind of depends on where the company goes in 10 years. One way that you can address this question is to ask them first, well, first of all, I'd like to know what does the company plan to do between now and the next 10 years as far as expansion, as far as growth? What are their plans in product development or service expansion or those kinds of things? Because if I know those sorts of details, I can then better prepare a 10-year plan. Once you've asked that question, now the ball is kind of in their court to tell you what the company's plans are over the next 10 years. Think about this question, though, far enough in advance because your answer will depend on the answer that they gave you as well, right? A generic answer, though, would be something like, between now and the next 10 years, my objective is to focus on the tasks at hand, on the job at hand, on the responsibilities given, on exceeding expectations, on developing as much as I possibly can in this role, and looking for opportunities where I can provide even more value to the company. What 10 years looks like is difficult to say because many people change within the organization as well. So it'll depend on some of those internal things as far as where I end up within 10 years. But my goal is to continue to grow within the organization based on growth opportunities that come my way. Something like that. I guess the point here is, if you simply say, well, I want to be a vice president, I want to be the CEO, I want to be a divisional leader, I want to be a whatever, many people can say those sorts of things, but have this kind of thought out and well-reasoned in your mind as far as how you're going to word this so it sounds natural, so it comes from the heart, and it is obviously something that you have thought through. They're looking to see, are you thinking ahead? And so what does that look like? And also, do your career paths align with the company's growth objectives, with the company's future, that kind of thing. But remember, you can't know that unless you know more about what the company's plans are for their future. Make sense? Well, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video. I've enjoyed making it for you. Please let me know in the comments below if you've been asked that question before and how you responded and did it help you or did it harm you? in the interview process. Also, I welcome any suggestions for new material that you'd like me to produce. And finally, I would be honored if you would subscribe to this channel, which would help us out a tremendous amount, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. All right, well, for job tips, I hope you get that job and you have that dynamic career that you wanna have.